Today's paper is Disentangled Non-Local Neural Network. Before getting into details of the paper, let's first review non-local neural network. Convolution in neural network is a local operator that sees area within its kernel. Multiple convolutions are stacked to increase the receptive field, but there's still a limitation to see global features. Non-local block is usually added between convolutions to compute all the interaction between the pixels. As shown in the figure, if a block gets a feature size of t times h times w times 1024 as input, matrix reshaping, multiplication, and element-wise additions are performed to capture the global dependencies between the pixels, and outputs a feature map of the same size using 1 by 1 convolution. Note here that t here represents a timestamp since the original paper targeted video classification. Now here, non-local neural network is shown in equation. Equation on the left computes the long-range dependencies between the features. yi represents output features, x represents the input feature at position i and j, and g is the value transformation function with parameter wv. Function w of xi and xj typically instantiated by an embedded Gaussian, is the embedded similarity function from pixel j to pixel i. Here, xi is referred to as a key pixel, and xj is referred to as a query pixel. Matrix w is used to map input feature to the embedded dimension. For each yi, it iterates through all other pixels xj in the feature map. The authors then consider a special case where the query vector xi becomes a constant over all image pixels. When this happens, the authors propose that the key pixel xj globally impacts all the query pixels. Also, in other work, like GCNet, it was found that non-local blocks frequently degenerate into a pure unary term in several image recognition tasks where each key pixel in the image has the same similarity with all query pixels. Based on the observation, the authors claim that there could exist not only pairwise relationship between the pixels, but there could also be an unary meaning as well. Proof of the author's claim is presented in the paper. The authors then split the existing attention computation in non-local neural network into two terms whitened pairwise term and the unary term. The whitened pairwise term captures the impact of one pixel on all other pixels, and the unary term captures the general influence of one pixel on all other pixels. In the equation, qi and kj represents the embedded query and key pixel, and sigma denotes the softmax function. The MeQ and MeK are the average query and key embedding over all the pixels in the feature space. The whitened dot product term represents the pure pairwise relation between a query pixel i and a key pixel j. And the second term represents the unary relation where a key pixel j has the same impact on all query pixels i. The equation above can be rewritten to the equation at the bottom. From this equation, two changes are made by the authors to ensure disentanglement of pairwise and unary terms. First, the authors change multiplication term to addition. This is done to ensure independence of each term's gradient calculation. For example, if the unary term learns well to represent the boundary area, the weights on the non-boundary area will be close to zero. If this happens, the training of the pairwise term at the non-boundary would be difficult due to the vanishing gradient issue. The second modification is to change the transformation wk in unary term to be an independent linear transformation wm with output dimension of 1. The use of wk on both pairwise and unary term is a problem because it couples the computation of the two terms. 
Having these two changes gives us the final disentangled non-local neural network formulation shown in the equation. The first term in the equation now captures the pure pairwise relation between query pixel i and key pixel j, and the second term captures the unary relation. The resulting equation is also shown as a figure in D. Note that it adopts a single value transform for both pairwise and unary terms, which is similarly effective on benchmarks as using independent value transform, but with reduced complexity. Table shows comparison results for the proposed disentangled non-local network on the Cityscapes test set. Using a ResNet 101 as a backbone, the disentangled non-local network achieves 82% mean IOU, that's 1.2% better than that of standard non-local network. On a stronger backbone of HRNet 32W48, the disentangled non-local network achieves 0.5% higher accuracy. Considering that the standard non-local network has 0.6% mean IOU improvement over a plain HRNet V2, such additional gains are significant. The figure shows the tension maps of non-local block and disentangled non-local block. Given the query point represented as white cross, disentangled non-local block successfully attends to the similar regions of the query points while non-local block fails to attend well to the salient boundaries. Now, this figure shows the visualization of attention maps for all variants of the non-local block. The first column shows the image, ground truth, and edges of ground truth, and columns 2 to 5 shows the attention maps of the pairwise terms, and column 6 shows the attention maps of the unary terms. As shown in the figure, Pairwise non-local block tends to learn pixel relationships within the same category region, while the unary non-local block tends to learn the impact from boundary pixels to all image pixels. Lastly, here is a visualization of attention maps on Coco object detection and Kinetics action recognition dataset. The query points are marked in red. While pairwise term in non-local block is almost hindered by the unary term, the pairwise term in disentangled non-local block shows clear within region meaning and appears significant in the final overall tension maps. The unary term in disentangled non-local block also shows more focus to salient regions than the one in the non-local block. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today and I'll see you next time with a new paper.